I'm David Thornton. I'm Amanda Thornton. Our story really began a couple of years ago. We both were single parents. We started seeing each other. We had a lot of changes going on in our life when we first got married. I moved here to be with him and you know, new schools, new city, uh, a lot of changes that we had to make along the way and a new church was something that we wanted. So we found FOTP. Soon after we had gone, there was a message on generosity. We talked about it and we just, we knew that that was God's call on our life to, st to get started with tithing again. It wasn't uh, as apparent to me that tithing should come first no matter what. I thought that if I took care of what we needed to first, then I could be better at tithing later. After hearing what Amanda had had to say, and she was kind of my hero, I was becoming reconnected, better connected with God. Charles spoke on tithing, and he challenged us with a 90-day tithing. We initiated that, and we began to tithe. Before you know it, we lost count of how many days it was. One thing about uh, tithing that I've learned is that uh, it really wasn't mine or ours to begin with. We have the opportunity now to give first, uh, that put God ahead of us, and uh, for someone who hasn't been tithing, then that really kind of breaks the me first cycle. We found that the tithing was an opportunity to uh, serve God in a physical way way here in this physical world to grow with Him spiritually, and that's an important part of growing your faith. Something we shared with our kids, we reminded them that it allows us to have opportunities like helping out with orphan care, build a bed, with student ministry. It's nice that we can come together, realize that that's God's calling on our life for our marriage. I would recommend to someone who's not tithing right now and has reservations about it, go ahead and do it and realize that it's not a financial investment. View it as something that, uh, it's an opportunity. It's a gift from God. It's a way to connect and to better serve and better worship. And we can sit around and we can think, well, I'll tithe when I pay this off, or I'll tithe when I'm more financially stable. If we wait for the right time, it just, it just may never be the right time. Matthew 6.21 says, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also.